Okay, I know y'all have been waiting for this video, um, and I have too. Just got this in the mail. This is the Nilkin case. Now, I don't want to get the name wrong, and I do apologize. I should have been ready for this, but uh, so so excited to hit record that um, I just put it down and hit record. Okay, this is the. Let me move this out of the way. This is the Nilkin. And it doesn't doesn't really have a name, just the Nilkin, and I know I've done these case reviews. That's the Frost, Slim Frost, I don't know what they call it. Nilkin Honeycomb Silicone Camera Spring Cover. So it's basically the Nilkin Honeycomb case. Now, let's see, they do have it for... It's just for the S23. $12.00. Uh, which seems like a steal for this for this case. Um, let's let's give it a look real quick. And I'll, I'll put the link in the description so everything I show you here you can go and check out for yourself. And they do have it for other devices, um, but very interesting construction. Very cool. Never seen anything like this. It is a honeycomb effect, and you can actually these are actually individual honeycombs uh designs that are made of silicone so you can actually it's really cool you can actually really you can get your fingernail in between each one of these honeycombs let me see if i can get it close up to the camera it's so cool i've never seen anything like this you can actually get your fingernail in between there you see they're stretchy so this whole case <clears throat> i wish there was a um interior design here for the heat dissipation however i don't believe of course some heat can leave out of this entryway and i'll show you all how that works in a second for the camera but um really neat construction outside right like that looks awesome <laughs> and then you turn it around and you're like wah, wah, wah. you know not much inside but nobody's looking on the inside so super cool case does this have any... Yeah, it sure does. It's got the air pockets in all four corners for drop protection. It's got a nice, huge cutout. I'll try a uh, charging cable here when I put the device in that came with the phone to make sure it works. And it has little independent bumpers, just like they do with this other with their Slim Frosted case on all four corners. This one has similar. Now, this is a hard construction, and this is a softer construction. Nice big cutout for the finger, speaker grill cutout. You have, here's for your lanyard, for a little um, wrist lanyard you can plug in there. You have nice cutouts for the um, power, volume down, volume up. And you have these this... Um, engraved grip here so when you hold it you got something to hold on to you got the nilkin design discover innovation discover innovation now i think this is part of the case i was i was thinking i wonder if this would peel off after time but you know what it's not even it's not glued on which is good and it's not a sticker which is good this is actually i believe part of the construction of the case because I was trying to see if I could peel it up just so I could you know tell you all to be aware and I I mean I can't so who knows over time it might but I don't believe so okay and this was the only color uh, now for the interesting part now when I was doing some research and after I ordered it it looked like this camera slide um, now they have Nilkin has one for the S23 Ultra on Amazon but it's nothing like this um, with a camera slide. Um, it looked like it says spring loaded. So I assumed you could just snap it in and it would kind of automatically come out and you could, you know, snap it in. Um, but after playing with it for a little bit, it is spring loaded. However, you don't pop it. It's kind of like uh, the S Pen or like um a pen like this right i thought it would have this type of action where you push it in and it would pop back out push it in pop back out just like the s pen but it actually doesn't 
Um, but it does give you resistance, so it doesn't feel super cheap. You know, they have some on Amazon that feel like after a month of use, this whole thing's going to pop off. They actually said they have a patent, Nilkin, they have a patent on this S23 Ultra. They have, Nilkin said that they do have a patent on this technology. So it is spring loaded. I could not find the spring. I didn't want to break it, but I was looking for the spring under there. And they have something in there. Um, it's easy to, to pull out. And it does give you resistance going back in at the beginning. But then once you get about halfway, it'll go back in itself. Watch. Just like that. So they have this little grip here. You can either, when you have the phone in there. Actually, you know what? Let's put the phone in there and give it a try. See what it looks like with the cameras. There we go. Turn the screen off. Really nice. It does not lift up on the screen protector. Here, let's do this. And I'll do that slide blast. Samsung USB C to USB C. This is what came in the uh, Samsung package. Nice big cutouts. Not going to have any issues, I'm sure. Nope. And you got, so you can see, you got plenty of room. If you have an aftermarket charger, definitely will work. You have a nice big cutout. Look at that for the S Pen because on this case that I just reviewed, it's got a not so not so big cutout. See the difference? So you really got to work on that other one to get it out. And this one, you just see, very very easy. There's no effort, no maneuvering your finger you're not sit, sitting there messing with it and then you fumble the phone and drop it it's just boom 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 <clears throat> so the mic up top is lined up the let's try these buttons i like how they're kind of cut let's see yeah see those are super clicky very easy very easy so Real quick, this construction, it feels really good in the hand. This is kind of a silicone. Um, it's not like, like you can peel it back. It's not super stretchy. It doesn't feel like gel. feels like a good construction. Um, let's look at the lip real quick, and then we'll go to the camera. So it does have a nice little lip on there. Not going to touch your screen. Uh, if you lay your phone face down, it does have a nice lift there, so if you lay it down, it's not going to scratch. Um, and let's make sure it does not mess with the screen protector. Yeah, it looks good. I don't see any lift. That's from the display. Don't see any lift. Is that a piece of lint? Yeah. All right, so it should work with screen protectors. Now, let's go back to this and see what it looks like. So, when releasing this camera slide, I guess there's really probably more than two, but there's only two ways that really come to, to mind first. Is if you're holding it in your left hand or the right, just be the opposite. I was going to say, can you push it out? I guess you can't. I was going to say, you could either pop it out that way or you can do it this way, like make it one-handed. But look, it has a raised border around the camera slide so it knows when to stop this. See how? So it's kind of hard to... I guess you could open it with one hand. But it may be better if you're holding it in your right hand to get this grip... Or this little indentation right here. Oh, I see it's got grooves. So it knows how to go on the border. And it's not really loose. It doesn't feel cheap by any means. So I guess you would have to use two hands. Because that was going to be my other thing. Can you just open it with one hand? What if you got your other hand like on the back of groceries and you're trying to take a picture of your dog or your daughter or something real quick? Um, yeah, so you can you can do it with one hand. See how, so that was kind of easy. It does look really nice. 
And again, you you know, you only use your camera for like less than 1% of the time uh, that you actually use your phone. Because I was kind of wary of getting one of these. Um, never had a sliding camera door before in a case. This is a first. But, um, okay, so here's what you got to do. Instead of doing it from the side up, there is that border. So you're going to want, that's why they, they have these, um, this uh, honeycomb here where each one is independent and they're felt like they're like real rubbery. Um, so instead of going from the side over, you're going to want to put your thumb on the corner here. And instead of holding it like this, doing it, you're going to want to kind of move it to where your hands are like this, right? So you can do it with one hand. Okay. And you can slide it back over with one hand. Because that was going to be my other thing. If it's if it's two-handed only when doing the camera slide, that would kind of be a hassle. But you can do it with one hand. Now, this one may be harder because it's going to hit your finger. There you go. Yeah, you can still do it. Just got to hold it, you know, a little awkward. <laughs> Take a picture. And you slide it back in. Or I guess you could do it like this as well. If you're holding it. Huh. I wonder how many times it would. Uh, so I wonder how many slides it will. The life of the slide. Is it going to work for a year? Two years? Before stuff starts breaking or getting... Uh, sun damaged or weather damaged. Uh, I don't know. I was trying to look for the spring. It should last a while. Looks cool. Um, the other thing is they they did say there was how much there was a one. Th uh, what was it? Of course they're doing it in millimeters. Maybe two or three millimeters under. You, here's the other thing I was thinking of. You're not going to scratch these lenses right here, your camera lenses, from up underneath the slide. So when you're closing it, it's not touching. Let's see if we can get a... It's kind of hard to tell right here from the camera. Let me take it off camera real quick and see how much of a distance there is. Oh, yeah. There's probably... A millimeter maybe two no more than three so there's definitely space underneath there so when you're sliding it it's not going to be continually scratching your camera so after using this for two or three months you're not going to have a ton of scratches on on your camera lens because that was one of the things i was thinking of uh then the last day or two is i wonder if that'll scratch the camera but it looks like now if you what if you push down to really put force on it, will it scratch while you're opening it up? Because you have to kind of, it's not hard, but look, my finger's sliding. You do have to push down a bit. Does it flex and scratch the camera when you're pushing down? No, it's not. So there's enough room. It does flex a teeny tiny bit to get it open when you push it down and out, but let me see if I can turn the flash on on this phone. Hold on. Flash. I guess not. That sucks. Um, oh, well. Do I have another phone? Uh, oh, well. I was going to try and show you. Let me see if I can do this. Move this light a little bit. So... When, you, when you're sliding this out, you do have to push down a little bit to get some grip on it. And when you slide it out, it's hard to tell. Sorry. See, it doesn't give that much anyways, but it does flex a little bit because it is plastic. However, you can see there, it's still not touching. So there's like a millimeter or two. So I think your camera is going to be fine. Um... There's definitely, you can tell, those second the sensors over there sit a little closer to the phone. These these camera sensors stick out farther. These sit in, let's see if we can tell. I can't really tell over there. Anyways, I think you'll be fine. 
I don't believe it's going to touch, so should be good to go. I bet that was part of their constructing this. They had to put something grippy on here, which looks cool. But uh, just to slide this open, because I'm sure when they were doing R&D on this research and development, that, um, you know, if you put any other material, it's just going to slip. And with this material, it's really grippy. And you have this here. You can You can do it with your fingernail. You can do it with your thumb. So you're recording. I wonder if you can slide it open. So let's say you got it in your hand and you want to take a picture. You could probably do this, right? You could probably... When you have your phone and you want to take a picture, you could probably slide it open. Boom. Just like that, right? Let's try it again. So it's in hand. Okay. So you get in a rhythm. You can find your own little rhythm and what you feel comfortable. But it is not a, uh, you know, <clears throat> obstruction of any sort, in my opinion. It may be weird at first. But I'm going to actually use this. Normally, I'll use it when I get a case in the mail. I'll use it for a day or two. Tell you what I like, what I don't like. But I got this this in the mail. It's about an hour ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot this video because this thing looks freaking awesome. So if I I'm gonna keep this on and use it. If I come across anything weird or uh, something that's bothersome or you know a hassle or gives me any trouble, I'll definitely make another quick video and update you guys. But um, if you do like this case, please uh, check out the link in the description. We're not affiliate of. Nilkin or AliExpress or anybody or just phone users that love cases and technology and phones and everything in between so we're just passing on some cool info uh, to y'all so I do appreciate the time and um, stay uh, stay tuned to the channel please subscribe we're gonna I'm gonna order a whole bunch more cases I got a few more to go that are still coming but I'm gonna order some uh some more so they got some more cool stuff on there so I will uh, order that, review it for y'all, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.